Watch you guys got another video. Windows 11 start menu is getting a floating widget sidebar. That's right. If you've been waiting for an upgrade to the Windows 11 start menu, then this video is for you. It's a new feature called start menu companions, and it will be inside your personalization and start area when you get the 24H2 released. Now, this is obviously in trial at the moment. Microsoft haven't confirmed that they are going to be officially releasing it, but they're also working on some other things like being able to control your operating system and settings through the Copilot app right here. Once this is working, you will be able to give it instructions on what features you want to turn off and what features you want to turn on, and it will give you instructions and do that for you. So it looks like Microsoft are starting to really push Copilot and embed it into the operating system to allow it to do certain things for you and make it more uh, user friendly for people that don't know how to find certain settings in Windows. You'll be able to ask Copilot and it will do all that for you. Now, also with this start menu, it's a brand new release, so there is no confirmation just yet. So it's unclear whether Microsoft intends to formally announce this new feature or if it's just a internal experiment that will never see the light of day. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. And once you've done that, you'll be able to submit your order and use PayPal to pay for your purchases. They will then send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows just like that. It's that simple. Anyway, so let's move back to the main bit, which is the start menu. Now, over on Twitter, uh, Albacore has actually made a post here to show you what the start menu will look like. Personally, I think it's absolutely hideous and I'm not sure what Microsoft are thinking by adding this live tile thing on the right hand side or you can have it on the left hand side depending on what side you want to have it so if you want it on the left you can if you want it on the right you can and this is going to be obviously an area where you can add in some live tiles apparently microsoft have said that many many people have wanted live tiles to be added back to windows 11 since uh, 2021 when windows 11 was first debuted now, I can't deny that Microsoft do need to do something with their start menu because it's absolutely hideous. But in my personal opinion, added in the start menu companions so you can add in live tiles there, that is just making the start menu even bigger than what it already is. And already people don't like it. So I'm not too sure whether this is a good route for Microsoft to go down. Also, on that being said, it's probably going to give them more real estate to add in more, guess what, adverts. And that's what they want to do, probably. And that's why they're adding it in. And these can be live ads because it will be a live tile section, which you can obviously add more in. And it can be as big or small as you like. But if you looked at those images, you will see uh, that is quite a large menu. And I will leave a link to all of that in the video description for you to check out for yourselves. Now, this feature must be for the selected few because I try to enable it myself using the uh, Vive tool and also using the correct command to get it working. But unfortunately, it didn't work for me to be able to show you what the menu actually physically looks like on an operating system because I did install the correct operating system, but it's just not working. And I've tried to enable that feature, but it just won't work. So I've had to rely on the official source where this has come from and shown you the images. Now, my personal uh, option for the start menu would be to use something like Start 11. If you install Start 11 and use some of these start menus, they are way more better and more usable than what uh, Microsoft have to offer. Now, what I don't understand is why don't someone at Microsoft hire someone like this who knows what they're doing, who gives people what they want, because this is exactly what people want. They want a simple, easy to use uh, start menu, which is going to be uh, much more easy to customize like this. And again, you can pick this up for a pretty cheap price around about, I think it's £15 for multi-license and around about uh, £9 for a single license, I think, or 9 99 something like that. It has gone up a bit, but they have done 
some major updates on this. And a lot of people that have seen my video see that I use this in my personal systems and basically asked how you set it up. So I'll quickly show you here. This is the actual menu itself. Very straightforward. It's broken down into start menu, start button, taskbar, task, pins, search, control, and a bunch of other features and settings. It's pretty easy to set up. Once you've got it installed, you can resize it to the size you want. You can change the icons inside there to something smaller. I have them slightly larger so I can see them a little bit better, but you can have them whatever size you like, and you can customize and configure it the way you like it. You can change colors. You can add things to the shortlist menu. You can do whatever you like inside this menu. It's fully customizable. It's If you want to see a full video on this, then let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to make that video for you and show you some of the features and what you can actually do with this software because I use this on my main system every single day and it makes life a lot easier. Now, I'm not sponsored by Start11 before people start jumping in the comments and accusing me of running an advert for Start11. I just really do put my name to this program because I think it really is a decent bit of kit and I use it myself on a daily basis. So you can add tabs in here like these and you can change the colors and appearance to them. You can change the icon colors as well. Uh, which makes it really nice and so you can get a good all-round nice looking theme for yourself and you can organize all of your icons into groups here as well which makes it nice and add more tabs like this which means that you don't have to go hunting for your programs you can put them in their own little categories and this can be games this can be programs miscellaneous uh, benchmarks whatever it is you want to do you can set this up how you like and uh, again, once you've got this all done, you can get the colors to exactly how you like them. You can rename these to something more uh, recognizable to yourself. And again, you can change the colors as well. And I'll show you what this looks like in a second. But let me just add some more tabs here so you can see. Very simple and easy to do. And you can just drag and drop these into the locations that you want. So let's just drag a bunch of these in here so we can see what it looks like when they're all populated here. We'll do one more tab down here uh, underneath and you can add more if you wish, but I'm just going to add this tab here, blank one. And again, you can add folders or files in here as well. So if you have a certain folder that you access quite a lot, you can have it attached into one of these areas right here. They do have a 30 day trial on this software now, whereas before they never used to allow you to trial it, but they do actually allow you to do 30 days of trial. So you can give it a go and see whether you like it or not. And I guarantee you, if you use this software, you won't want to go back to the start menu uh, of Windows 11. I can tell you that right now. Now, you can see what I did there. I just changed the icon color, and it's now added a nice little color to it like this. And you can change this to whatever appearance color you like. And this is tinting the actual icons. You can add a shadow to them if you wish. So I'll get this sort of set up a little bit and I'll show you exactly what the end result looks like when you can mess around with it like this. Now, at the moment, I've not added any sort of dark theme on here, and I haven't changed the taskbar color or anything like that. And I am on a very uh, early dev channel type of operating system here, so there might be some glitching and stuff like that on this. But let me go ahead and show you what it looks like once you spend a bit of time on it. So I've spent a few minutes just getting this ready and I've made it a purple color. And as you can see here, we've got everything all nicely tied in. We've got purple icons and we also have purple tabs here. You can add in your icons inside here and you can add all your programs and stuff. You can call them whatever you like, but I'm just giving you an idea of what it actually looks like. And you can change these colors to whatever you like on your system and whatever uh, favorite colors you'd like to have or use on your system very simple and easy to, and it's called Start11. I'll leave a link of that also in the video description for you, just in case you're interested in giving it a 30-day trial. And also I'll leave all the links for all the other articles that we was talking about in this video. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comments section below about this new start menu that they are looking to uh, test and roll out. Is it something you're looking forward to, or is it something that you don't like by looking at the images that you see? I think it looks hideous, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.